Do you want to learn how to increase your credit limit? Are you interested in learning on what you can do to get high limits? Well, if so, then you've clicked on the right video. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Jennifer, and you are now watching Just Money, where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Today, I'm doing a video on the top three things to do and know before requesting a credit limit increase with Navy Federal Credit Union. So let's just jump right into the video. Okay. So first, you want to show them that you deserve a credit limit increase by doing the following. Number one, update your yearly or monthly income. By updating your income, you're showing Navy Federal that, hey, I'm making more money now, so I think I can handle a higher credit limit. So let's say, for example, you're making $40,000 a year and they give you a $5,000 credit limit. Well, they base your starting limit on what they think you can handle to pay per month based on your overall debt you currently have with other institutions, such as your other credit card minimum payments. So in order for them to give you a credit limit increase, they want to make sure that you're able to handle another payment. That's why whenever you get a denial letter after you requested an increase, it says that you reached your limit with Navy Federal, meaning that your total monthly payment obligations exceeded their debt to income standards. So in other words, you don't make enough money for a credit limit increase at this time. So just make sure that you're making more money before you request the limit increase and make sure to pay your payments on time. Payment history makes up about 35% of your credit score as we can see in this chart. So make sure to make those payments every month. Another thing is to make sure that you are previously using the card that you are requesting a credit limit increase on. If it's a new card, then use it for at least three months or three billing cycles. Because think about it, if you're barely using your card, then why would they give you a credit limit increase? Now I'm not saying to use the card to buy things that you don't need. Only use the card if you are able to pay it off completely every month. Or at least keep your utilization ratio under 30% or even 10%, preferably if you can. Navy Federal allows you to get your first limit increase within 91 days of getting your first card or after three billing cycles. Then you'll be able to ask or receive a credit limit increase every six months. Okay, now number two, wait until your score has increased. And I I can't stress this enough, you need to wait until your score has gone up. If you recently paid off some balances and it hasn't reported to the credit bureaus, then just wait. Wait until it has reported and then your score will increase. And you should always find out when your credit cards report your balances to the credit bureaus. What I suggest is to pay down your balance before your statement closing date. That is the day that your balances is reported. Do not make your payment on the due date. Try to make your payment way before the due date. By making a payment before your statement closing date, you reduce the total balance that the card issuer reports to the credit bureau. And that right there increases your credit score. Okay, now number three, lower your overall credit utilization. You typically want to stay under 30%, but under 10% is even better. And for those that don't know what utilization is, it's pretty much the amount owed across all your accounts. Try to pay off current debt that you have before applying for a credit limit increase. Let that report and then just apply. The amount owed makes up about 30% of your credit score as we can see on this model. So the lower your utilization utilization, the higher your score will be. If you're using a lot of your available credit, this may indicate that you are overextended and banks can interpret this to mean that you are at a higher risk of defaulting. Okay, so those are my top three things to do, but now I'm going to be going over some other things to keep in mind before you request a credit limit increase. Okay, so make sure you don't have too many accounts with balances on them. If you have several cards with low balances, try to pay those off first. Having too many accounts with balances makes you look risky. And another thing you can do is plan ahead. If you have too many inquiries, then that could be something that prevents you from getting a limit increase. Hard pulls, aka credit inquiries, stay on your credit report for at least two years. And they also lower your score by a few points whenever you apply for a new credit card or you request a credit limit increase. But it's okay because those points that you usually lose will come back in about three months. If your previous inquiry is 12 months old, then it's not going to affect your credit score as much as a new inquiry would or a hard pull. So just keep that in mind when applying. Try and have a plan whenever you're getting a new credit. For instance, let's say you want to get a new credit card with another institution and you also want to get a limit increase on your Navy Federal card within the same same day or month as well. Well, I know in my state, Navy Federal pulls from your TransUnion, so I can request a credit limit increase and I know it's gonna be from my TransUnion credit report. Then if I wanted to get an American Express card, then I know I can apply at the same time as a Navy Federal credit card because I know American Express pulls from your experience. So one wouldn't affect the other. Do you see what I did there? And also if you guys are finding this information helpful, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button really quick, I would truly appreciate that. It would mean a lot to me. And another thing you can do is pay off collections if they do pay for delete deals. Those type of accounts will raise your credit score when it gets reported as paid and also when it gets deleted from your credit report. Your score will go up. Okay, so if you guys watch my videos, then I'm sure by now you guys know that Navy Federal has an internal score that ranges anywhere from 100 all the way up to 450 points. Besides building your FICO score, you definitely want to build your internal score with Navy Federal as well. And I just did a video on how to build your internal score, so I'll go ahead and leave that for you guys in the description below for you guys to click on or just feel free to browse my channel. Well, I hope that you guys found this information helpful and I hope that you reach those high limits. And also, what are you trying to build up 
your score for? Like, is there anything specific you're trying to apply for? Let me know in the comments. I would like to know. And not only would I like to know, I think we all would like to know as a community. So what are you trying to apply for? But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I do truly appreciate you guys. We are at 14,663 subscribers at the time of this recording. So I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that do not know. And if you haven't yet already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can get notified every time I ish post a new video. But again, we talk about personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics like getting high limits on your credit cards, how to build business credit, all that kind of stuff, mortgage loan products, real estate. So if that's something you're into, then I would definitely consider subscribing. And for those that don't know, I am also a licensed real estate agent, a realtor here in Southern California. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home or have any questions in regards to real estate, then all my information is in the description below. I am also a licensed mortgage loan originator. So if you need funding for a home, all my information is in the description below. But again, if you guys made it to the end of the video, Video, then I do truly appreciate you guys and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.